Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from Run the Foot Market. Happy Monday. Um, happy Tuesday. I don't know what day of the week this is going up yet because I uploaded Foot Champions highlights um, early this morning. We've got a lot of footies and reviews to do this week. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the videos. If you guys enjoy them or they help you, just drop a thumbs up. It does help the videos. Today we're going to be re reviewing uh, footies Botang, which is obtainable, I believe, with seven swap tokens. That is the... That is the how much it's going to cost you. What I am planning on doing on my main account is Promise, uh, Boateng, and Wasp. Those are, I'm going to try to pick up three players. And then obviously we've got some weekly objectives this week where we've got Musa and we've got Arias, which Arias is in this team. And I'm going to be reviewing both of those guys. Um, but I wanted to get Boateng out because he's time sensitive, if you guys understand what I'm saying. Um, where some of you guys are looking to make the decision right now of should I get him, should I not get him. Um, I'm going to try to not be biased. I am a huge Boateng fan, huge Bayern fan and huge fan of German football. Like that's like just my bias already. So I'm going to try not to be biased in this video, um, to you guys about those players, uh, or specifically Boateng. So we look at Boateng right away. Um, and he's got some pretty good stats. Now this is a plus four upgrade on the foot birthday weekly objective. Um, medium, medium work rates, six foot four, four star weak foot, two star skills. So something that you're going to get with this card right off the bat that's unique is he's six foot four. That is very tall for a center back. Um, most center backs in this game average between 5'11 to 6'2. So being 6'4 means he's completely oversized, which is not a bad thing. I think his stock is pretty good. It's very similar to Van Dyke's. Um, now he hasn't been that overpowered this year. He was really, the last time he was truly overpowered, really OP was FIFA 17. He was good last year and he's kind of been declining because his gold card has been getting worse every single year. Now, on the stats, on the face card, 80 pace, 91 defending, 91 physical, 83 passing, 78 dribbling. What we're going to be using on him today is, for me, a chem style that's uh, shadow. I think you got to use shadow on this guy. You could use engine, but the defensive stats are not amazing, amazing. They are good, but they're not amazing, amazing. So I think that's the move. Something that you guys might be let down with this card is the 82 jumping. Seven, but the six foot four height can compensate for that. With the shadow chemistry style, we're going to move to 90 acceleration, 93 sprint speed. Um, the passing is really good out of the back, 86 and 96, which is really good. The vision is good as well. The agility and balance is pretty standard. That's pretty standard for most center backs outside of Militao, Canavaro, and like Team of the Ramos. That's a pretty standard set uh, combination of agility and balance. Reactions are fantastic at 96. Composure at 99 is absolutely fantastic. Defensive stats are all very good with the shadow chem style. And then obviously the stamina, anything over 75, 70 for a center back's okay. You don't really need stamina for a center back. It's not that important. So Nick, how do I review a center back? How do you do a center back review? Well, I think today, guys, the way we do it is we test his passing ability on the back. We test his tackle winning ability. Um, and we see how well he can possess the ball and build out of the back. For me, a lot of you guys um, who play like me are using center backs that you like to play out of the back with. Um, rather than just clearing the ball upwards and possessing up top, a lot of your center backs are going to have a lot of ball possession. So I think it's important to, to recognize with this review today is that we've got to see can he play in game really well um, at the center back position. Can he hold the ball? Can he build out with people? Um, in terms of what we're going to be playing for the uh, formation today, guys, we're going to play the 4 one 2 2 narrow, press after possession loss. I'm going to do a press up, pressure, on, pressure on heavy touch. And yeah, he's going to be playing left center back. Um, and that's how we're going to line up with him. Lozano, we will put... I'll put, I'll put Eusebio at cam. Perisic at camp. I'll put Perisic at camp. Vieira, CDM, Kovacic, and footies Fred in the midfield just to kind of use a little bit of a footies theme. And uh, we're going to go with that, guys. If you enjoy the video, man, all I would tell you guys today is just drop a thumbs up if you guys enjoy it. Um, it does it does help out the videos. And uh, let me know in the let me know in the comments what you guys are going for, man. Are, like, I don't really know. It's weird because I think some people are going for like the 10 or the 11. What I have to tell you guys is I'm going to need – if you could pop into the streams this week – I may need somebody who's going to be unlocking Munier uh, to do a review on Munier because I can't get Munier done on my main account, and I do want to try that card out. So just kind of pop in the stream and be like, yo, Nick, I'm doing Munier, and just let me know, and we'll, we'll, we'll be able to figure something out. Uh, boys, honestly, don't really think this team's going to give us much trouble. We will have to see, but I think we're going to be good with the squad. The game is so his stock in-game is very, um, is very big. You can see if you look at him compared to Blanc, he has a, a little bit bigger of a stock, which is going to be important at times when people are attacking on the ball. He's able to push them off really easily. What a goal from Arias, man. Let's go. 
Arias to score on his debut for his new club. What a goal. What a finish from Arias, man. On the 70 shooting, he gets that goal. I was like, damn. Nice. Good tackle, boys. Good value. It's so weird reviewing a defender, but it is it is important to know, like, is a dude good at defending? Because defending is huge this year, man. I want to test his long board right here. See if we can ping one wide. Nice ball. Yeah, dude. Because that's always the pass that I F, F up with Cannavaro. It's the R1 square pass. Always I mess it up. Always, dude. Got the opposition back a little nice ta yeah he's got a big frame it's it's very similar to Van Dyke where like if you're in the area you will intercept it because of his frame it's he's huge penalty we get a penalty do I dare take this with Boateng <laughs> do I dare take this with Boateng is the real question what are his penalties? They're probably terrible. Let's see. 51. I'm going to take old Boateng just for the video. Guys, don't take penalties in Boateng. I actually think I put way too much power on that, dude. And I just didn't even realize. Oh, my God, Nick. What are you doing? Oh. To big win, Botang. Big win. Okay, so Botang right there did not win the aerial ball, and that was against who? Rashford retains possession. Oh, I like that. Good work, really, to read the intention of the. Pass. A little heavy first touch out there, but nice pass. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Oh, that has to go in from Eusebio. Come on, Eusebio. It's a corner now. He's put in the corner. Boateng! Oh, he missed the open net on the corner. No. That's great defending. This might be. That was so stupid. Boateng with a huge block there, bro. Oh my god, that was so stupid by me, dude. Yeah, very solid defensively, guys. Transition speed feels good. Build out feels good. He doesn't feel too clunky on the ball. What a pass. His passing is phenomenal. His passing is so good out of the back. Penalty. Let's go. Penalty again, boys. Lozano does his dancing. Boys, we are going to give the, the penalty to Boateng, and we are going to try to, we are going to try to, uh, we are going to try to f fix our first bad penalty. Let's go, boys. We redeem ourselves, and Boateng scores a penalty. <laughs> no, that doesn't really count as a goal. Now Patrick Vieira. And Vieira's opened them up with a lovely through pass. Put in from the wide area. Fred! What a goal from Fred. And we go 3 0. What a ball from Alonso. And what a goal from Mr. Fred. 3 0 is the scoreline, boys. A wide pass. Oh my god. His passing is so good, guys. I'm telling you right now. His build out of the back is fantastic. He used a lot of center backs this year. And uh, he has very good passing out of the back. Sterling is with De Bruyne. Rashford with the ball now. Test of his control now. The passing, he, bro, his passing is so good out of the back, guys. What a goal, man. Let's get it. Fred with the second goal of the video. Oh boy, there goes that man. Hey, it's a pen! Another pen! Alright, boys. Alright, boys, you guys know what time it is. It's time for Boateng to go over 50% on his penalties today. It is time. 
It's time, boys. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time, boys. It's time. Boateng with the second penalty. All right, of the video. <laughs> I got three penalties against this man. Poor kid, bro. So we get the shutout as well, guys. We're going to get the 5 nothing win. The opponent was not the best. The team was not the best, obviously. But Boateng definitely is solid. I like him. I think he's. I think it's a. There's a very valuable aspect to being able to build out the back, and that's honestly why Cannavaro has been pissing me off for really, not a ton, but recently is because sometimes when I'm trying to build out the back, he just, bro, he turns the ball over, guys, and it's not fun, man. Here we go, boys. Oh boy. Oh boy. The Monday sweat is real. For that yellow card here, just a free kick. Marcus Alonso. 1v1 for Boateng, boys. So a little a little slower than what I wanted. Definitely a little bit slower than what I wanted there on the 1v1, but... Corner played in. The through pass. There is Hitch. Lozano! That should not be a post. He can cross it now. Kovacic. I don't know how that's a post, man. So close to taking the lead there, but no idea, man. Nice, Boateng. Nice, Boateng. Oh, he couldn't keep the ball, though, man. I think that's just the game mechanics this year of tackling sucking. Nice, Boateng. Let's go. I really haven't had many problems with him, guys. The only thing I worry about with the card is that maybe on one on ones, on long breakaways, he may actually not like do the best. Eusebio, Perisic, Kyle Kovacic, superb individual skill. Oh, see you later. Now Eusebio, with great vision here, Marcus Alonso. No way he moves his keeper near post there. What a psycho this kid is, bro. What a psycho, man. This kid is a maniac, bro. Who moves their keeper near post there, man? I don't even know. That's a foul. It's probably a red card, actually. It's a red card. I think he's got a red. To see that in the game. Vieira doing it again with those long legs. Well, that is. Wide pass. Nice pass. Mateo Kovacic. Fred, what a goal! Let's go. chances would leave them regretting those misses but now they've opened the scoring and you would feel that they'll go on and win from here De Pau. this is Eusebio come on Boateng come on Boateng nice pass there's nothing I can do about that there's nothing I can do about that that's an amazing play Lozano De Pau. Quick check. Nice Boateng. That's sick. That was really good. It's unlike him really to play the ball straight to the opposition. The direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Marcos Alonso. Good vision here. Opportunity. Yes. Let's go. Fred, baby. 2-1, boys. Fred is going crazy in this video. All right, boys, that's going to be the ball game. Two Ws and a pretty solid review on both things. I think he is very good. I think two things you're going to have to worry about him is his transition movement with the low agility and then his ability to stay with players one-on-ones. I do think even with the shadow chemistry style, he is a little slow. Can he be an endgame center back? Yes, because I have Blanc on this team, and he can play better out of the back than Blanc. I'm serious. His on-the-ball capabilities of, of distribution were really good. Um... And I'm happy to go pick him up, dude, because I do think he is really usable. Um, I think you guys can use him in teams. I think he is not one of those players you're going to get and think is too slow. Even though I do think there is times he can't get beat, I do think he is, he's good to go. Don't mind the two goals. Um, and then I think the only thing, the other thing I would say is the finishing is 38. So 
The corner the corner goals, if you're a guy who lobs the ball in corners to your center back, that may be a liability with him because his corner, that, that ability for him is not that good. Um, but other than that, he is pretty damn good. And uh, yeah, glad I could get you guys a review on Boateng. Smash the like button if you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the video soon. Peace out.